Okay, so hi guys and welcome back to another video and today I have the biggest spring Oh my god, I can't even lift this the biggest spring Primark haul ever there is literally about 45 to 50 items that I picked up I had a lot of big uni assignments to submit so I'm so sorry that I was not active for the past few weeks but I finished my big assignment so I treated myself to an absolutely massive spring haul so I'm not going anywhere for the foreseeable future um, so get excited and make sure that you subscribe I've got some absolutely amazing gems Primark is absolutely killing the game at the moment so I'm not going to waffle I'm just going to get into it but before we do make sure that you like and subscribe turn the notification bell on so be alarmed when I upload any other content follow me on instagram and let's get into the video okay so i do have this massive primark bag here but i am going to quickly show you the first thing in this little bag so these are actually so adorable um i went in the primark home section to begin with and they had all of these little pamper grass bunny tails how cute are they so i got two of the white ones which are just so adorable i like how clean and fresh white and gray look together um so i picked up two of the white and then i also thought for spring i'd pick up the really cute pastel pink ones um just because spring is you know i thought that was really cute so i did pick three of these up to begin with however they were a little bit pricey for primark it was actually six pound per one so i spent 18 pounds on bunny tails altogether which this was definitely an impulse purchase just to like treat myself because looking back on it i was like why i don't know why i did that but <laughs> they are just incredibly cute literally my boyfriend was like six pounds oh my god six pounds and he's even speaking to the woman at the till in primark like six pounds six i was like oh my god leave me alone i just want to buy some really cute bunny tails so these pink ones i've got a cute little easter vase that i just bought over there to put these in and then i have a really cute vision for this let me show you let me put you onto something i know this is a primark haul um but i found this gorgeous little butt vase in asda how adorable is this it is so cute i do have a few little dried plants in it at the moment um but they just weren't enough so i thought i'd get two of these to go in here i'm gonna look gorgeous what's this my asos parcel is out for delivery i need to stop buying stuff this is a primark haul and i'm already buying stuff from asos right back to the primark haul but anyway yeah these were six pounds each so i picked up two of the creamy white ones and this gorgeous little pastel pink bunny tail ready for easter and the spring season that's what i got in the home section then everything else is just like absolutely dry all over, so i don't even know where to start okay so the first things that i'm going to go through is all the bags that i picked up primark had a ridiculous amount of bags and i was living for it so the first one that i picked up is this gorgeous coral orange color and this is quite obviously a dupe of the zara quilted bags um that is quite obvious and they did have loads of the colors but i do have a lot of these zara bags um, but I didn't have it in this colour, so I thought that is such a cute orange coral colour. Perfect for going on holiday. So it just comes with the gold chain quilted at the front. I think this is actually bigger than Zara's biggest size. It's definitely worth going to Primark if you want bags a little bit bigger than the Zara ones. Um, and this was £10, which I was actually very excited about because the Zara big ones are 30 I think for the biggest size so I was very impressed with this I do really like this bag I am a big fan of this orange corally color so I was very excited for that and then the next two bags that I picked up are actually the same but different colors so I got this almost like clutch like bag um, so let me show you the lilac one first. So it's like quilted or is that the word like panelled all the way around and then at the top it's kind of like a clutch so obviously it opens like a normal clutch bag of wood but there is actually a lot of space in there at the bottom. There is actually a bigger chain inside to wear it like cross body and then it obviously has the little chain here to just wear it like a little clutch bag. Um, so this was £12 and this was in the lilac one. I did think that was really cute. And then I obviously picked it up in the really nice nude colour because that will match a lot of my everyday outfits. So yeah, this one was also £12. Um, the bags are really good, but the material does feel a little bit not as good quality. Um, just because I do have a lot of the Zara bags, 
the Zara bags are definitely better quality, but I mean, for the price, I'm not gonna sit here and moan. Um, I was very excited to get them. And then the last bag that I picked up from this haul was a really cute like beach bag. It's like a woven black one. So in one of my summer hauls last year, I picked up this exact bag, but this was like um, straw colored and it was bright yellow at the top. And I absolutely loved it. It's such a perfect little beach bag, but like without bringing like a massive beach bag. Um, so, but then I found it in this all black one and I was obsessed because as you can tell, black is literally my favourite colour to wear. Um, so I was absolutely obsessed with this bag. However, the price has gone up a little bit. So when I bought my yellow one, it was £6, but this has gone up to £10. It does have the long additional handle inside as well and I do love the way this opens. It's very beachy. Definitely going to take it on holiday. Um, but I did pick it up and put it back a few times uh, just because... I bought it for six pounds and then it going up to 10 pounds. I was a little bit like, mm, I'm not sure, but they did have it in a lilac color and a gorgeous sage green. They had like gorgeous pastels out for Easter. Um, but I just thought for 10 pounds, the one I'm definitely gonna use the most is black. So I did pick up the black one in this gorgeous little woven bag. So I'm very excited for that. Okay, so that is all the bags that I picked up. Everything else is now just like clothes, a little bit like random purchases. So the first thing that I picked up was a little bit random. So I picked up just a pair of new fluffy sliders and this lilac and pastel colors were very in at the moment because it's Easter time, spring time. So I just picked up these really cute lilac fluffy sliders. Oh, they match my nails very nicely. So I do have like, um, Ugg slippers. They're literally my rider and die, but I've scuffed them up so bad to the point that like it wasn't even worth the money buying them. So I have bought a new pair of Ugg slippers, but I don't want to scuff them up. I only want to wear them like inside the house. So I thought I needed to pick up some sliders to like when I'm going outside, just to quickly go to my car and stuff like that. Um, because that's how my other ones got really scuffed up. So I thought I'll just get a cheap pair. But I can still look really cute. So I got this lilac fluffy pair. These are in a size five, but I should have got a four because with sliders, I do recommend going like a size down because they're not like fitted on your feet. They're obviously just like, you just shove your foot in it. So I would recommend going a size down with sliders. Um, but I just was clearly in the spare of the moment and just got a five, but that's fine. And these were actually six pounds, which I thought was quite a good little bargain. They're very cute, so I'm very happy with those. Okay, let's just go, let's just start random. Cotton pads, 50p, we need them. Also, um, someone needs to inform me of a Primark where they have that little, it's all over TikTok, it's for these. Basically, there's like an ATP like machine thing where you put your cotton pad on it, press it down, and obviously like your cleanser or toner comes out of it. I was looking everywhere for it, I couldn't find it. So if you have it in your local Primark, let me know and I will be running down to it because I did not have it in mine. Um, but they had cotton pads, which I obviously needed. All I'm gonna say is if you guys have watched my previous Primark hauls, you know how much I'm obsessed with the five pound sets. So I usually get like three, four of them to top up. This is how much I got this time. Like, oh my God, I need to control myself. This is why I shouldn't be let outside the house with my bank card. <sighs> I'm not gonna waffle because there is so much to go through. <laughs> so these weren't actually the five pound sets, but they were in the same section. So these were seven pounds and these are like little lounge sets. So like the normal underwear sets, they have the bralette at the top, but this time they have cute little matching like bedtime shorts to go with it, which I thought was so cute. Um, so this was seven pound for both. And it does say extra small at the top, but I kind of, uh, what, what, what? Dominoes has texted me, a bit sad. Um, so this does say an extra small, but I kind of had to switch it around in the shop, which I do feel a little bit bad about, um, because some person out there is gonna have the wrong size because I swapped it. Um, but I made sure the bra was an extra small because flat chested, um, but I do have quite chunky legs. So I had to go up to a size small in the shorts because I knew I would not get away with an extra small with my legs. But I did have to swap the shorts for a small. Um, so I'm very sorry to the person in my local Primark that will be getting the wrong size shorts, but I just thought this set is too cute and I can't be buying two sets to get the right size. And it's ribbed as well, which is gorgeous. So I got that in a gray. And of course I got it in this baby blue color because I love this color so much. Um, where is the bralette? Uh, but once again, I did swap it around because I've got, I've got to put myself first, you know, in these situations. Um, but yeah, this is a gorgeous baby blue rib set. It just says love to lounge on the bottom of like the waistband. 
Um, so yeah, this one was also £7 and bralette was a extra small and I did swap the shorts to a small. So these were really cute and these were £7 each. So many of these £5 underwear sets I got. So the first one I got was this gorgeous like mint coloured set um, and they normally, they don't have them in like the extra small so I did just go for a 34B um, and this is so cute. I love how it's got the little underwire but then it's all meshed there. And then obviously you've got the pants at the back. So yeah, this was a really cute mint set that I picked up. All of these are five pounds. I'm just gonna go through them. I'm not gonna constantly say how much they were. Um, but I got a lot of styles. So I was very excited because they came out with so many styles. Okay, so the next few are a two extra small. So I got a nude ribbed one. I do have another one of this, but I love it so much. So I had to pick up another one. Then I also got it in black. I do also already have the black, but they're just such staples that I just constantly need to restock on them. And then they had them, they're the normal style that they normally have, but they did have a few new styles, so that's obviously why I picked up so much. They had this kind of, I don't know what it's called, it's not like a triangle bra, it's just kind of like a normal, it, I forgot, I have no, it's completely gone out of my brain what this is called. What is this called? I can't remember, halter neck? I don't know. But it's the ones that like Calvin Klein are and everything. So I do normally have the triangle shaped ones because they do flatter smaller chest. But I thought I would give this shape a go and then obviously it comes with the pants as well. And then I got the same shape in a lilac colour. As you can see I was really enjoying the lilac theme in Primark. And then, I think these might be my favourite. They had like this bandeau kind of one. If I, let me move the pants. Move. They had like this bandeau strappy kind of one which I thought, oh my God, that is a piece of me. And I had it, they had it in this gorgeous lemon colour. So that was, I love that. And then they had it in a baby blue colour as well, which I love this pastel. I love the pastels in spring. It's definitely one of my like favourite clothing range that comes out when all the pastels come out. It's so gorgeous. Okay, and then the last two sets that I got, I did get in a size small just because, like I do normally go for a two extra small, but the size small just looked like it would, fit me so these are like the lace bras um i love these so much they feel different to the last time i bought them so the last time i bought them i did i do get them in a two extra small but these are like my staple bras and they didn't have anything smaller than a small and it did still kind of look like the same cup size so i don't know if they changed their sizing or something with these but um it looks exactly the same as the two extra small that I have here. So I don't know, I was a little bit confused with that but the cup size did look like it fit me. Um, so I got a gorgeous lilac colour and then picked up a lovely little red set because I feel like around the times of year, like Christmas, Valentine's Day, I just never have red underwear because I always have black, white or pastels. So I thought I'd just pick up a red set because when I need a red set, I never had a red set. <laughs> oh my God, I don't even want it. I'm actually really embarrassed about this. I'm not even done with the underwear. This is probably the funniest thing that has happened to me in a long time. So this is how many pants I have. This, I have to say there's like a good 40 pairs there. So basically, I went to Primark with Alice, who is my boyfriend, and these are my favourite pants ever. The one pound Primark thongs are my absolute favourite pants ever. They are the most comfortable things in the world. And Alice knows this because it's literally all I wear. So they only ever have the white pairs. And then I went into Primark and they'd come out with a pink pair, a black pair, and a yellow pair. And I was like, oh my goodness. And they even came out with like a bunch of these pastels as well. So I had to go look in, I was looking in the section for these, picking up a million of them. So I said to Alice, could you just go pick me up a few of each pair? Like a few pink, a few white, a few yellow. And honestly, I love that boy with all my heart. But the amount that he brought back, I was like, what? the how like i didn't even notice he'd put them in then the cashier had to scan them one by one it looked like i had a problem because i'm buying like 50 pairs of pants like what the hell <laughs> i it's so funny because i can just imagine ellis in the middle of all these girls in the underwear section putting 50 pairs of underwear into his basket oh my god the looks that that poor guy must have got but anyway i mean he stopped me up for a good like five years he picked me up five of the white pairs which are my absolute favorite so thank you very much and then he i think he made a very random choice um he got me three of the black ones picked me up six of these bright pink ones five of these really cute yellow ones 
Oh my god. Then I didn't realise how much he'd gotten. So about there, we've got about 20 pairs of individual pants. So I didn't actually realise how much he'd put in the bag. So I went back to the underwear section and actually picked myself up like um, a trio of these, which were three pounds. So I forgot to say, but each one of these like Primark thongs are a pound, which is why I love them. And um, so I picked up a trio of them, which is three pounds. So it's like this blush colour, the white and the peach. And then I picked up two of their like ribbed thongs, just because like I normally hate thongs, they're so uncomfortable, but the Primark ones are so nice. Um, so these were three pounds as well, and it comes with the lilac, the lemon colour, and a white one in the middle. So I didn't realise how much he got, and I went and picked up more. So the poor woman at the checkout that had to individually scan all of my pairs of pants, I'm very sorry. Right, this is my bargain of the century. I don't even know when I'm going to wear it, but it was a bargain. So basically it's this knitted like vest so it kind of just like goes over you because there's like the arm there's not really any armholes and then it's got a hood and this was originally 12 pounds it got reduced to one pound and when it went through the checkout it was 50p i was like oh my goodness it's not something that i'd wear like every day but i thought i find knitwear so comfortable so like when i'm editing on a day or something I thought that's so comfortable. I do normally do try on hauls, but I'm not gonna make this a try on haul just because of so much stuff that I've got. It's gonna take, it would take me hours to try it all on. Um, and I wanna get this out as quickly as I can for you guys. Um, so I'm just gonna show you everything that I picked up. Okay, the next things I got are obviously the essential socks. Um, but I couldn't find the normal like one pound normal socks. Um, so I had to pick up these like microfiber trainer socks that are like the proper gym socks. Um, and these were three pounds each. But they are re like ridiculously good quality and because me and Alice have finished uni and if you go uni you know you have like a ridiculously long summer holiday so we finish our exams in May and then we don't go back till October so to get ready for Barbados and everything we're going to be going to the gym a lot so I thought these would be really good socks to go to the gym in and they were £3 each just picked up a white and a black okay the next things that I picked up were essentials these are my favourite things ever. I just picked up two pairs of leggings. These are just the normal Primark leggings in a size small, £2.50. And I obviously have to keep getting them because they do rip because they are £2.50 leggings and they have chunky legs. If you're a big size, you'll understand that like in this bit here, you just get rips in leggings all the time. Don't know why, but like this bit just rips open all the time. Um, and they are £2.50, so I can't really moan. But uh, whenever I go Primark, I do restock these because they do last me like a good two months each. Um, so I picked up these and they were £2.50 each. Oh, I love Primark so much. Look, I've got a cute little reusable bag because I'm saving the environment. That was so hypocritical. I swear Primark's not good for the environment and then I'm out here saying I'm saving it. The cardboard bags are ridiculous, especially if it's raining. All your stuff goes everywhere. I've got myself a big reusable bag. The next thing I've got with these hair clips um because they're very similar to the molly may waver clips and my hair really struggles to sit down i don't know why i always get like bigger lumps um so i love these clips to just slot in here when i go to bed it makes sure that my hair is like obviously where it should be and um, but i always lose them and the molly may ones are quite expensive and um, so i thought there we go we'll just get some of these really cute like kind of marble effect and these are two pounds each so i picked up some of those the next thing i picked up if you guys are an OG, I went through a phase where I was obsessed with Racerbacks and then I went off it for a while. It's back, she's back. The other day um, I went into uni cause it was really hot and I wore like a Racerback tucked into joggers and oh my God, that outfit was gorgeous. So I thought, you know what, let's pick up loads. So each of these Racerbacks are in a size extra small and they're six pounds. And they're a lot better quality than the racerbacks that I got last year from Primark because these are ribbed and they feel like the same material as those microfiber gym socks. They're like so stretchy. It feels just so ridiculously good quality. Like it's not going to be see-through. So the first one that I got was a really nice camel colour. Then I got like, it's not black, it's but it's not grey. It's like in between a black and a grey. Um, and then obviously I got a white. Um, so yeah, they were all £6 and a size extra small. You guys honestly need to run to Primark. It is so good in there. Then the next things that I picked up were actually some gym shorts. I wasn't sure on these, but um, they actually look like, I, think, I don't know if they're ripping off Gymshark, but uh, that logo looks a little bit similar to Gymshark, I can't lie. Um, but they do look like Gymshark shorts. 
Um, so these were five pounds, I believe, and they're actually a really nice material, like a really nice, like if you're sweaty, they won't stick to you kind of material. Then it's just got this cute little mesh detail at the bottom. And I got these in a size eight and they were five pounds. So I thought they'd be really cute to go to the gym too in obviously the summer months when you don't want to wear leggings. The last thing I got was gym stuff because the price of the stuff there was so affordable. And I normally buy Gymshark sets, but like why am I paying 50 pounds for leggings when I can buy them for 10? So the first thing that I picked up was actually this adorable set. So the top I got in an extra small and it was eight pounds and these are all ripped. This is gorgeous. This is literally, I love this lemon color so much. And then obviously it's like a cross back. I love this so much. I'm gonna look like a gorgeous little lemon and I love it. Um, and then obviously I got the ribbed leggings to go with it. And these are in a size small and these are 10 pounds. And these remind me of the Zara leggings that everyone's absolutely raving about at the moment. They literally look identical. And the Zara leggings are like double the price I think. And they literally look identical because I have the Zara ones in a brown and a black. They are like, they're genuinely identical, even the material. Um, so this is a really cute gym set to go to the gym in. Okay, so the last few things that I picked up are a little bit out there for me. Um, I'm not too sure if I will end up wearing them, but I just thought go for it. So the first thing that I picked up was this gorgeous gym racer back in an extra small. So it's a really nice like ombre racer back. I really love the effect of this. And this was in an extra small and I believe, and this was £3.50, which I actually thought was really good. And it's ribbed again, and it's that same like stretchy gym material. So I really like that. And then to pair with it, I got these cycling shorts. So these are also in a size small, and these were £3.50 as well. I did think that this is such an adorable set. However, it is a little bit loud for me. So I love both pieces, but I think I'd wear them with like black, like black on the other half. So like with this ombre top, I'd wear like the black shorts there, black cycling shorts or like black leggings and then with the and then with these shorts I'd wear like a black bralette or something just because I love them but um I'm just not very adventurous with what I wear but I got the same again with they had a gorgeous ombre turquoise blue one and this was £3.50 again and then I got the matching cycling shorts to go with it and they were in a small and then I got the same i'm really i don't really like the color pink um i thought it looked really nice like on the ombre with the white so i got that in an extra small again and then i really don't like this color pink it is a little bit much i think i like pastels i think really not a fan of this hot pink um but it obviously matched this very well um so i thought we'll just have to we'll just have to roll with it but yeah i thought those gym sets were really cute and i've seen them literally all over tiktok so i thought we're gonna have to give them a go and then the last thing that i got is not actually bye bye then oh my god my flower oh, i literally just crushed the 18 pounds that's been on pampas grass anyway the last thing that i got is, is a little bit boring but i get them every time i go a bit like the leggings um i absolutely love the primark jeans they are my favourite jeans ever because like they just contour to your body so nicely. Um, but these are £10 and I always get the same uh, super high waist skinny jeans. I always get the same ones because I I know there's like, I know skinny jeans aren't like in. Everyone likes like the mum jeans and everything. But my legs are just too small to pull off like flared or boot cut jeans. Like, ugh, let me show you. I'm sorry, if you just clicked on the video now, like, oh, I can't explain what's going on. But basically, I have really short legs, I'm five foot two, and then this bit's like quite skinny, but then I have really fat thighs. So like, the only thing that suits me is skinny jeans, because obviously it curves to the my leg. And then if I wear boot cut jeans, it just looks weird, because like, disproportionate. And then because I'm so small, I just look a bit weird when I wear them. So yeah, anyway. That's my methodology of why I have to wear skinny jeans. You guys have had a treat today. See my legs and everything. But anyway, I'm so out of breath. Okay, but yeah, that's everything that I picked up from Primark. I spent a lot, but yeah, I absolutely love everything. The only thing that I am a little bit unsure about are these sets, but I'm sure that if I pair it with like um, a black alternative, I think they'll look very pretty. But yeah, I'm going to go put my bunny tails in that bum bars now because 
I love it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure that you like and subscribe. Turn the notification bell on so you'll be alarmed when I upload any other content. Follow me on Instagram. And I'm back on the uploads now. All my assignments are in. We're going big. We're going out on YouTube. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you on Sunday for another video. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.